matter of time, I suppose. suggest we do about it. Retribution. We can save this world. Why would I save the world? I no longer have any stake in Do it for me. that image of the smiley face button falling away from the camera in your mind's eye and ask yourself what does it suggest i would argue that that trailer in addition to the excitement of its drama makes a threefold argument on the one hand it suggests that knowing frank miller's 300 gives a way into knowing the watchman that the director zack snyder holds us in strong hands because he knows one book and can encounter the other. On the other hand, it argues boldly that Watchmen is the most celebrated graphic novel of all time, and in truth, it has been greatly celebrated, for it is a great book. On a third level, I think it suggests that even though we recognize Watchmen as a graphic novel, we can also translate it to film, and in fact, that translating to film brings out some essential quality of the story, which maybe even can be improved upon in its movement in film. What that trailer argues to me is that in some level, media is invisible. We don't need to recognize it. We just need to appreciate the excitement of the story. Yet, if we think about the three main figures of the 1986 trifecta. Art Spiegelman in Mouse, Frank Miller in The Dark Knight Returns, and Alan Moore in Watchmen, I think we can draw a different conclusion about the role of media overall. Art Spiegelman moved the medium of comics from a debased and childlike, somewhat puerile world to The New Yorker, and in doing so, he changed it and changed the medium of literature overall. Incidentally, the New Yorker panned Watchmen, and to some extent, panned the book in its review as well. Alan Moore has a different relationship. He too hated the movie. Indeed, in his contract for Watchmen, he had a clause that the rights to the characters would revert to him when Watchmen went out of print. But Watchmen never did go out of print. And so, DC always possessed the copyright. When it decided to make a movie, to go ahead with that project, it did so against Alan Moore's objections. He had no control over the property. And indeed, when he got the checks, he passed them on to Dave Gibbons. He refused them. And this brings out Alan Moore's sensibility. It's a counterculture sensibility. It's one that says, this media, but not that. Books, but not film. And in truth, his work has been adapted in the counterculture mode. That guy Fawkes Mass that appears in his great book, V for Vendetta with David Lloyd, 
reappears in the Occupy movement, certainly a counterculture movement. Frank Miller gives us yet a different perspective on media. Frank Miller has embraced Hollywood, loves Hollywood films, worked with Richard Rodriguez in Sin City. Frank Miller despises the Occupy movement, calling them un-American louts. And so the trifecta makes us realize media, makes us think about how media works. And I think, I think too, that this smiley face can help us think about media. From one hand, the smiley face makes us think about media as, as an art form. We can think about each art form as its own medium, literature, film, and comics, and, and certainly the cartoonish nature of the smiley face evokes comics. On another hand, the smiley face shows us a bloodstain adhering to a button. It reminds us that we live in a world of material objects, of things, things that go through the world. And, and that should remind us that the word medium, it means the substrate, the intervening substrate in our lives. It means the physical object that represents other things, that contains other things. And so the smiley face draws that out as well. On a third level, though, I would suggest that the smiley face is a circle. Its button, the eyes, the semicircle of the smile, they all evoke for us a sense of cyclic return. Moore and Gibbons play that out in Watchmen by emphasizing the clock that ticks each chapter by. And so this makes me think, too, that we are surrounded, we are encased by media. And that brings me to this large and abstract sense of media, for media is everywhere. It's news, it's the internet, it's the world in which we swim like fish. It is the water that sustains us. We live in media. And in that sense, it's very easy for media to become invisible to us, like that trailer would suggest, that the media does not matter so much as the story, so much as the ideas in the media. And so the smiley face gives us three definitions of media. One, specific notion of an art form, literature, film, poetry, different media. Two, media is material. It is the substrate that carries stories and art. Three, media is, is a larger sense. Media is a sense of the world in which we live, a world dominated by words, images, stories. And so I come to my thesis for this module. Art makes us recognize media. Art is a way for us to reflect on the world in which we live, a way for us to consider how it shapes our own perspective. Indeed, it gives us a way to reflect and criticize our own world.